Does your pain or disease symptoms fluctuate based on time of day or night? Do you suffer from sleep issues like sleep deprivation or insomnia? I'm Dr. John Bartimus and I'm putting the pieces together to help you live a life at optimal. If you answered yes to these questions, that's a very important clinical clue for the clinician you're working with that hopefully they can understand and leverage in your care. If you suffer from sleep deprivation or insomnia and struggle with things such as falling asleep or you can fall asleep fine but you wake up in the middle of the night once or many times, these tell us a lot about your physiology and also they impact your circadian rhythm. Now your melatonin and your cortisol operate on a circadian rhythm and they have great impact on your total inflammatory status. So if you have an autoimmune disease, or an inflammatory disease, or an infection, or a chronic pain condition, and you have circadian rhythm dysfunction or sleep issues, then those can, your condition can be flared due to the impact of the poor sleep on the melatonin and cortisol levels. These are key nodes clinically to be able to impact to help your case. Also, if you have a diagnosis, many times in conventional medicine that diagnosis is treated or you're treated like you are the textbook definition of that diagnosis. The problem with that method of care is that everyone gets stuffed into the same treatment protocol and as you know or could intuit, everyone isn't helped by that protocol. The reason for that is that we are all unique individuals with differing underlying physiologic contributions to our disease process. So if, say, I had rheumatoid arthritis and nine other people, for a total of ten, also have the rheumatoid arthritis diagnosis, in conventional medicine we're all going to get the same thing. Some variation of methotrexate, Humira, some drug that they have for us. The problem with that is that all ten of us have different physiologic contributions or a different physiology beneath the surface or underneath that diagnosis. So even though the diagnosis is the same for all of us, the contributing factors are different for all of us, so giving all of us the same treatment doesn't make sense. Now, what if my RA flares at night? Well, that tells us something about sleep and circadian rhythm and total inflammatory load versus anti-inflammatory load. And so sleep optimization and inflammatory status would be key points to optimize for me versus someone else who presents differently but with the same diagnosis. So today's nugget is that we're all unique and different is one, and two is that sleep is a big time contributor to the clinical manifestation of your state and to your symptoms and pain levels. That's not really mind-blowing or news to you, but the news is that it's, it has that impact because it affects your melatonin and cortisol circadian rhythms, and those are key pieces that we want to optimize to help your pain and or inflammatory status and optimize your sleep.